Next, we're going to talk about reciprocals. And reciprocals are very important as we move through division with fractions. The value of reciprocals, um, two values are reciprocals if their product is one. So if I take two numbers multiplied by each other, their product is one, they are known as reciprocals. A reciprocal essentially is when we flip the fraction. So if I tell you that your first fraction is A over B, the reciprocal is B over A because I took those values and flipped them over. Now the reason that works is because my A's would cancel and my B's would cancel and everything is just one and so my answer is one. So I know that when I multiply them, their product was one. For example, if I have four fifths times five fourths, notice four fifths flipped over is five fourths my fours would cancel, my fives would cancel, and I'd end up just with one. If I didn't cancel to begin with, I would have taken four times five to get 20, five times four to get 20, and 20 divided by 20 is of course one. Uh, the, reciprocal of a whole, the reciprocal of a whole number, n, so whatever the whole number is, is just one over that number, and that works because a whole number written as a fraction would just be n over one. So for instance, if my number is five, then 5 over 1 is my original number. My reciprocal is 1 over 5. Again, I could reduce and end up with 1 or multiply and then reduce and end up with 1. So for these four, we're just going to write what the reciprocals are. My first, the reciprocal of 5 is 1 over 5. We just did that example because 5 is the same as 5 over 1. For 1 ninth, I'm going to flip it upside down, and so that's going to be 9 over 1. Now, I'm not going to write 9 over 1 because we never really write the 1, and so I would just write 9. Negative 4 fifths, we haven't talked about a negative, but the sign won't change. I'm going to flip it to put 5 over 4, but my result is still negative. And the last tricky one here is 0, and 0 doesn't have a reciprocal, and why not? because if I tried to flip zero over one upside down, I would get one over zero, and we all know that I cannot divide by zero, so it does not have a reciprocal. So here are some for you to try on your own. So do all four questions, there's a little trick in there on one of them, and then press play to see how you did. For my first three, the reciprocal is one over three, since three is the same as three over one. 3 fourths flips over to 4 thirds, negative 5 six flips over to negative 6 fifths, and for D I did give you a tricky one. Uh, let's go ahead and call 1 and 1 half. Let's turn that into a, an improper fraction. So 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1, so this is the same as 3 halves. That's how many I have total, 3 halves. And so the reciprocal of 3 halves would be two-thirds. So that was that tricky one because you had to turn it into an improper fraction first.